to another episode of Bare Necessities. Congratulations on making it to the five-week mark of the second semester. First, here's some important announcements. This Friday, the FBLA is hosting the 24th Annual District Volleyball Tournament at 6 p.m. in the high school gym. Admission is only $1 per person. Come see your favorite staff compete for the championship. The Science Department is sponsoring a Saturday trip to the Corning Museum of Glass on April 13th. Don't miss out on a great chance to see and experience the artistry of glass. See any science teacher with, for a permission slip and details. Blanket number one for Project Linus is done. Get your squares in so that we can finish another. The unified bowling season is off to a great start. Here's Michaela for a look at our bowling team. Congratulations to our unified bowling team. The team bowled against the fierce fighting Hornets on senior night this week. Before the match, Coach Simmons recognized our four awesome seniors, including Dan Tucker, Ella Friend, Tim Dunn, and Abby Vendee. Dan threw six strikes in the match against Kaz and ESM, setting a personal record. The team is back in action Friday against the Wildcats of West Jenny, then wrapping up the season next week with two away matches. Keep it rolling and bowling, go Bears. Thanks, Michaela, And congratulations to all our bowling bears. Did you know that it has been almost 100 years since the last time a solar eclipse has been seen in New York? Next month, the path of totality goes right over upstate New York. Here's Brennan with a look into what the solar eclipse is. The solar eclipse is when the moon covers the sunlight from the sun at an angle where only a part of the world is covered dark. A solar eclipse occurs every 18 months. The upcoming solar eclipse will occur on this date. There's nothing I can do, a total eclipse of the heart. Thanks, Brennan. This week we interviewed students on how much they know about the solar eclipse. What's the solar eclipse? Isn't it when the moon goes over the sun, like in the middle of the day? Yes. The moon covers the sun. Solar eclipse. Isn't it when, like, the moon and the sun and everything lines up? Do you know when it is? Solar eclipses? April 8th. Wait, it's like April. in April. May. <laughs> April? I think in April sometime. Is that? April 8th? Oh April 8th, 2024. <laughs> What's the solar eclipse? Unfortunately, I can't see anything with this gla these glasses on, so I can't ad lib. So. No, we're going to wear the glasses and we'll take them off. I'll put them up here. Don't forget to sign the digital permission slip sent out on Parent Square to get on the list for free Eclipse glasses. Now here's Devin with some information on the sock drive. As many of you know, one of our exceptional learners, Will Clark, passed away last year. Will's family continues to be incredibly grateful for all of the wonderful care he received at Galisano Children's Hospital and wanted to show their appreciation by collecting crazy socks to share with the children who presently being cared at the hospital. There are two collection boxes, one in the main office and one outside the door of the Exceptional Learners classroom. Donations will be accepted through March 31st. Thank you. As you saw last week, it takes a lot of work to put on a musical. This week, Grayson put together a short segment to show you what it's like to be in the tech crew of the musical. I'm Chance Levitt Lunning and I do sound effects. Hello. I'm Mr. Driscoll and I am Spotlight. Hi, I'm Muhammad Murray and I do lights, except for movers. Hi, my name is Grayson Stalov and I do microphones. Hi, I'm Sophie Turner. I'm tech manager and I do movers. Thanks, Grayson. Next week, we'll fe feature our actors and musicians in the cast in Pit of Les Mis. You can purchase tickets from Miss Manduzan in the counseling office or click the QR code to buy them online. Now for this week's Grodian joke. Hey, Quentin. Hey, Grod. Guess what? What? My family gave me an ultimatum about sweets. Oh? The choice was a piece of cake. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Grogan. Don't miss the chance to participate in this year's March Mammal Madness. Here's your final update. The first round of March Mammal Madness is upon us, with a variety of matchups including battles between a raven and an albatross, a painted wild dog, and either a sparkle muffin peacock spider, as pictured, or a rainbow grasshopper. Chestnut-headed bee-eater and a hairy-legged bee 
and a howler monkey in a swamp night jar. Be sure to fill out a bracket in Miss Lohenberg's room by Friday to participate. So Maggie, which one do you think is going to win this week? I'm going to go with the elegant dancing frog because oh. he can run away from the great white shark. But don't they get home advantage? Doesn't the hierarchy get home, home advantage? Yeah, but sharks can... <laughs> yeah, then how is the frog going to run away? <laughs> well, the frog can swim too. He can go oh. hide under a rock. Oh, well, I think the shark could probably move that rock. I don't like sharks that dance. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so Maggie, what's our fun fact for the week? There are a total of five former crewed spaceships on display in the museums within the path of the solar eclipse. Oh. We'll see you next time.